Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm in Gongzhou at the moment and uh, there's a very interesting story I had uh, experienced today in my life. I'm like I'm 41 and um, I've seen so many things, at least 41 years I'm seeing this world. But today was a very good story. Uh, my fa uh, father lost his wallet. Uh, uh, we lost it in the Canton Fair. It was crowd of people, millions of people were there and um, um, he dropped it somewhere. So we said inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun and uh, we had no like uh, uh, alhamdulillah there was not like there was a credit card and some of his cards but uh, and some money like 900 to 1000 uh, 1000 RMB was almost there. So we said okay uh, it's lost so it's lost. But like my father was still of ha, had having a hope to to get it back. Uh, suddenly, I he had a call. Uh, we had a call in our office, and said that uh, uh, we found a wallet in China, and uh, you can connect with us. So we were suspicious about this sort of a call, and we thought that this may be some guy which would be trying to rob us and something like that. So we avoided that call, but when we were trying to call back that call, there were more suspicious things happening. Like first, uh, uh, like they never picked it up. So we were like suspicious, what's going on? Uh, the second thing happened that uh, first there was a lady who called, then there was a man, Chinese man, which was talking with us. Then suddenly there was an Arabic uh, uh, style uh, gentleman was talking to us in English and uh, was talking to us um, and they were saying that come and pick it up and we were suspicious that oh, we are in China what kind of thing would happen if you would go there maybe they would uh, like rob us or something like that or kidnap us or something so uh, actually I was not so much hopeful uh, today just now uh, what happened was that this man called me and uh, he, told, he said that you can come and pick it up. Uh, I said that I'm not so much familiar with the address and the... Uh, uh, so I requested him, can you drop it? He said, no, I cannot, you have to come. Uh, I was like, okay, I'm coming. I was going for the taxi, but it was a little late. So he called me again that I'm leaving my office and I'll come to you. And he just came. He was in a black color Mercedes with a driver and he gave me e the wallet back and the wallet had my car father's cards and that 900 plus RMB in it. I was so much astonished I made a picture with him and asked what happened. He said I don't know uh, I got uh, like a call from a person a Chinese person and he called me something like 10 times and I was avoiding it he was a Sudani guy so and I was avoiding it because like, like um, and said uh, because he was busy. Then he said, "Okay, what's what's the problem?" He said that I found I found a wallet and it has some things, so, which is uh, from a foreigner. So he said that is it mine? He said no, but it's a foreigner and I don't know any foreigners. And you may know it. You may know them. So he said, "Okay, give it to me." He gave it to him. So the first, the girl found it in a metro, she was working in a metro station, a poor girl maybe. And then that poor girl handed it over to another man. And that man called this man th at least 10 times and eventually gave him the wallet. And this man practically gave me 5 calls and practically came to my hotel and eventually returned the whole thing with the money. Alhamdulillah. Um, so... The whole thing is this world, uh, this gentleman was a Muslim from Sudan and uh, this whole world, may, it may be a Chinese, the second Chinese, the third Sudani, we all think of them as a nation that we are all corrupt and if we lose, some, everyone is going to steal something from us. But they are, mashallah, mashallah, they are so good people in the world and the world is mostly uh, good of good people it's a crowd of very good people we are there are some people which are not so good which are not so good uh, but uh, that is not what's making the whole world majorly we are good people uh, we uh, uh, 
really have to uh, learn from each other we have to uh, like um, what should i say like if if it's in my belief in in our belief in for as for muslims that if we have to uh, uh, believe in allah and and that's the only way we uh, uh, that in we would be successful in the second life the life coming afterwards and uh, in, in in so good people if they don't know this thing and they they as per in common practice they are so good people uh, they they um, may allah give them record reward here may allah uh, uh, make us uh, a source uh, that we can uh, um, tell them and we can uh, pass them the knowledge we have uh, through the rasulullah and uh, they all become successful in this life and the life hereafter and we all should be doing the same jazakallah uh, i shared it in english i don't normally do it in english i am uh, I, i cannot speak it so fluently but i do read it so that it can be shared in uh, uh, in uh, places other than pakistan also so oh, uh forgive me if the pronunciation is not so good jazakallah